morning. So um, this doll this morning I'm going to show you is um, Bellatrix, Bellatrix Lestrange. So um, she's from the Harry Potter series. OK, and I thought um, well, in the photographs I have of her, you know, it's hard to show the photograph of her because there's a lot of black and it doesn't show up so well. So I thought I would do a video and let you see it. So she has boots on. OK, and into the boots I just stitched there, just little um findings that you get. I think they're little spacers for people who do um, beadwork, you know, but any little beads or any little design in there would do. Um, I just put those in to give it a wee bit of detail in the boots, okay. Um, she has her fishnet stockings, which are just embroidered up the legs. The legs are knit and then I just embroidered the um the fishnet stockings. All right. Her skirt, I don't know if you can see it. You can't see it in photographs so much. Her skirt is actually a lacy design. Can you see that? Like a lacy pattern. Okay, so because um, Bellatrix Lestrange is, oh, she's very glamorous. Um, so she has a lacy design. And what, um, I didn't stitch it up the way you would do a skirt. I kept it open and then I, um, I run a gathering stitch up and pulled it up so that you can see her stockings um, underneath at the front. Okay. Um, she has a, a bustier on, that's what you would call it. Okay. So, and I actually, if you look closely, it's just, I put black lace. You don't have to have black lace, but I just had a bit of black lace in my box and I thought, oh, that would be nice. That would make, um, make her very sexy. So, um, black lace. And this is just, um, a wee row of, um, like, like diamante sort of wrapping thing. It was very cheap. I got it in the range or somewhere like that. Um, at Christmas, it was like for Christmas roll, it was a pound a roll or something. But I just cut off a little piece and stitched that on the front. Okay. Of course, she has a bust. And the necklace is just a wee, uh, it's just a wee, jewelry finding I had in my box again and I put it on to um it's on to like a waxy cord that I had in my box but the waxy cord actually came from you know sometimes if you buy clothes and you've got um a label on and you get it's you get it, some you know you get it with a waxy cord well I keep all those um and that's what I used for that okay her sleeves okay she's got these they're not sleeves as such um, if you have a wee look, they're like leather. If you if you look at the Harry Potter film, they're like leather sort of um, arm protectors, and they're made of leather. And then they're they're sort of all laced up. So you know you knit the arm, and then you wrap the you knit the piece of the, and you um, the the arm protector, and you wrap it round, and then I. Um, you know, kept it open a wee bit so that it looks as if it's stitched. And then just to, to give it a wee bit of detail, this is just a twisted cord that I, I threaded up um, the arm. It was just to give her a bit of detail. And then her, if you look at the, the film, her arm protectors are, um, they're sort of stitched on to her um, shoulder pads, you know, so that the, so that's just stitched on. Okay, so there she is. And um, she's got her wand, Bellatrix Lestrange. And her hairstyle is the um, the curly, you know, the um, the curly sticks again. So easy to do. And because I didn't want to do it all black, if you look, there's some um, brown in there as well, dark brown. So Bellatrix Lestrange and her skirt sits actually beautifully. It's, it's, it's hard to show in this, but her skirt sets absolutely beautiful. Anyway, I, I did the photographs and I put them up on the Facebook and somebody commented and said she's got a wand because she's, you know, one of the baddies in the um, Harry Potter series. But um, somebody said to me, um, isn't she the image of Cher? And I thought, oh, right enough. <laughs> she couldn't get away with being a Cher. So I did another one, you know, same doll. And um, this time, instead of giving her a wand, I give her a a microphone. So there she is with her microphone. So um, and it's slightly different because every doll that you make is different, depending on what sort of findings I have in my box. This one hasn't got a cross. This one's got a some sort of bug or something finding. And instead of doing the cross, I just 
at the bottom with the, I did with the Bellatrix I gave her like some stitched on some cross I just used that cheap stuff again from the the wrapping the diamante stuff a little bit and I stitched it on but exact, exactly the same doll um my brother said no she's not Cher it's Bellatrix no it's not anything like Cher but anyway um I did, did two dolls one with a wand one with a microphone. Um, I think she, even though she's, um, maybe she's not like Cher, but she, she'd make a great um, band doll in a band, wouldn't she? Um, so they're very nice. So the pattern for this is on my website. It's in the um, section with all the Harry Potter um, section. I think there's eight knitting patterns now for Harry Potter, um, for the Harry Potter range, okay? so. There she is. Patterns on my website, um, ecdesigns.co.uk. Bye.